Star Wars holiday special is sort of like the holy grail. I wanted to see this more than I wanted to live. We're starving as fans for anything Star Wars. So funny and so stupid at the same time. We have seen something that we weren't supposed to see. How did this happen? To find answers, we travel back and experience the insanity of 1970s variety television. <laughs> A new documentary is sharing the behind-the-scenes story of the now infamous Star Wars Holiday Special. It only aired one time back in 1978 and has gained cult status over the years. It's called The Disturbance in the Force and explains just how special it all came to be. The directors are Steve Kozak and Jeremy Kuhn, who join us uh, right now. Guys, thank you for uh, being here. Uh, you know, you, know you, you look at this and go, uh, how weird was this special? But I remember watching it. I remember being fascinated. And, you know, back in the day, uh, it, it was all about Star Wars. You couldn't get enough. It was the Barbie of its day, uh, you know, really. really. Uh, ex explain what you think the phenomena is behind all this. Well, I think the biggest phenomenon is the fact that Lucas doesn't want to have anything to do with it. And it's kind of this this uh, hidden fruit that fans have found over the years. And considering he's such a control freak about so much of his career, this is just amazes Star Wars fans that this was able to be produced. How did they convince George Lucas to, to do this? I, I mean, I know he wasn't necessarily the brainchild behind it, but how did they even get his permission or you know, acceptance that this was going to happen. He kind of did his a favor. 20th Century Fox asked him to do something to kind of fill this gap between Star Wars and Empire because it was three years, and it was also a way to market toys. So in the end, it, and in the end, it did its job and it benefited him. But that, I think that was the main driver behind it. Let's uh, take a look at some of the footage here as, as you guys uh, explain. Uh, Steve, just talk a little bit about what this special was for people who have never seen it and what it was. It is truly a like, surreal uh, kind of experience. This is, um, this is what was going on in television in 1978. You know, there was crazy shows like, uh, um, you know, shows at SeaWorld. There were shows at, uh, you know, amusement parks. There was Kiss Meets Phantom of, the, of, uh, of Magic Mountain. There were these crazy over-the-top variety shows that were normal at the time. It was normal to have these kind of off the wall, crazy, um, crazy shows. It was two thirds of the programming in 1978 was was these variety shows. So uh, it was kind of the way to get, that was the format of the time. It would have been reality shows if they would have done it now. You know, now it's a... Uh... Can I ask, um, were, the, were the creators here sort of in on the joke, so to speak? Did they know that they were making something ridiculous, or did they think that this was really good television? <laughs> I mean, they were very earnest in their efforts. Everyone we talked to was top of line. They spared no expense. Yeah. So, I mean, I think at some point they realized during production this was going to go off the rails, but <laughs> at least they started in earnest at the beginning. Okay. So was it immediately panned the minute it aired, or were there some folks thinking like, oh, you know, it's not too bad. It, it kind of fills the, you know, the need for uh, to see some Star Wars related uh, performances. I think it was. Uh, I think it, it was. It was low expectation television at the time. You mm -hmm. know, as a fan, I watched it at the time. There's like six or seven minutes of Han Solo. And I thought at that point that that's all I got to get. You know, that was my little demo. They, everyone was wa sitting in a living room watching television with one television. So they had to kind of split it up and make sure that everyone had something to watch that was in their interest. So, you know, to me, I think everyone had a, had a low expectation for television at the time. Nowadays, they look at it and it's horrific, but so is television uh from 19 from the 1970s that's what one of the issues the points of the of the documentary is is that all television was weird like this in the 70s most of it was oh i have to i have to take issue i think it's fine art and it's, <laughs> it's, it's beautiful art, I, I just think it's especially the, the chewbacca relative <laughs> the, I, I love also there's a there's a, a cooking section in it right yeah harvey corman with four arms cooking a brisket or something like that, or a bantha, I guess. How do you call that stupid? That is fantastic. <laughs> Hello. Let's take a look here. We've got, we've got a little of that here. Today we 
are going to be preparing a very succulent dish called Bantha Surprise. It's not only a very hearty, <laughs> nourishing dish, but it's very economical, too. So all those hungry mouths in your household will be going, yummy, yum, on that tummy tum. Fantastic. That, that, that is just fantastic. Oh, wow. uh, so now, is, today, is it more I'm readily available now? I know that, you know, it aired that one time and then, uh, you know, it didn't. Uh, is, is it more, is it streaming now? How, how can people see this? Uh, you mean the, do the new documentary or, or the original special? Both. Both. Yeah. Well, the original yeah, the special is still on YouTube and it hmm. has been on YouTube and that's what's created this insane, you know, revitalization of it because it's available within seconds you can watch it. Gotcha. So you can watch the original on YouTube anytime. Um, and where's the, uh, how can people check out the documentary? So the documentary is on pretty much every transactional platform. So like Apple, Amazon, yeah. Vudu, and Google Play. Uh, it's also available on Blu-ray if you want a physical copy. But if you go to disturbanceintheforce.com, that will direct you to all the, direct, the links to find it. How great is that? You get Harvey Corman, you get B. Arthur. Uh, th this is just a, a holiday extravaganza. A disturbance in the force. Streaming now or check out their official website. You can follow along on social media. Guys, thank you very much. Happy holidays to you. Thank you, you as well. Merry Christmas. Thanks.